What is going on guys? Brandon here, Mitten Made Properties. We have your Genesee County October 2020 real estate market update. Let's jump right into this. And again, a couple things to preface every single time. We have been doing this for five years now. Like I said, whether we're in the office, outside in the cold, we're gonna be doing this, bringing you guys the most up-to-date information for you and your family so you can make the best decisions for yourself. So we have uh, the month in arrears. So that way we have the, all the data. It's finally in, it's compiled, it's finalized, and we can give it to you. Uh, and then we have three years of data. That way we can see the trend. The trend is your friend. Remember, in investing, if you only have one year of data, it wouldn't make any sense. So let's jump right into the days on market. 38 days on market two years ago, 46 last year, and then 31 this year. So a big decrease over the last couple of years here we've seen this year. So houses is flying off the market here in Tennessee County. Active homes in the market. 920 last or two years ago, 998 last year, and 491 this year. So up in Tennessee, we're seeing a huge decrease in the active number of homes in the market. And remember, that's a one day sample size, though. So, at the day that data was taken, how many homes were actually on the market at that time? So, just keep in mind that months of inventory two, two, and one. So, this is exactly two, basically, and that's exactly one. So what that means is that the rate homes are selling, how long would it take to sell every last home if no new homes came in the market? That's what that entails here. So just to give you context, one to three is a seller's market, meaning there's a lot of seller or a lot of buyers out there and not a lot of inventory like we are in right now. And then four to six months is the balance market and seven plus the buyer's market, meaning there's a lot of inventory prices are coming down. New homes, this is a month wide number. How many homes actually came on the market that month? 686 two years ago, 688 last year, and 626 this year. So still a decrease going forward with how many homes are actually in the market, which again, is frustrating. Good for sellers, very good for sellers, but it's frustrating overall as a market because it's, you know, it's obviously grinding the market to really a standstill, a halt. Because this what happens is, it's good for sellers right now. However, it will, if this continues happening, and will discourage buyers as well, which ultimately hurts sellers. So it's this vicious cycle. Price per square foot, ninety dollars square foot two years ago, one hundred eight last year, and then one hundred eighty three this year. A big jumps up is because of the lack of inventory. You know, dang near half the inventory on the market. So that's why we're seeing less days in the market, and then price is really jumping. So you know, these are this number is probably a little bit of an anomaly. You might have had some, some weird ones in there, but just say it was one hundred forty or one hundred fifty, and still big increases big jumps up. Remember, that's a countywide number. You take your square footage, you multiply it by that, and you're gonna get approximate square footage or the value of your home. If you want to get an actual evaluation, though, you gotta have someone on our team. You gotta have an appraiser, a true professional come and actually give you a valuation on your home, though. And then last one here, the paper will cooperate with me, sold. So this is people actually sitting at the closing table and closing on a home. 522 two years ago, 478 last year, 563 this year, excuse me. This is, this is, that's good. We've had more, a little more homes in the market, a little glut of homes that came on in the last handful of months. We're seeing that kind of start to fizzle out though now and all those properties are being sold. So that's why we're seeing that number up a little bit. But remember going forward, we've got low numbers here. So Jan December, January, uh, excuse me, November, December, January. Can be interesting, can be very interesting. So that's your Genesee County market update, October 2020 guys. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and being with us here. We appreciate your time, your attention, your energy. It's truly the most important asset we have is our, our time and our mind. So using our mind a little bit to get smarter, using our time to develop that mind, right? So thank you guys. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one.